Oh, hey, how you doing? Welcome to this stranger's house. <laughs> Get the rest of the water out. I thought it was just drain. <laughs> How to drain a toilet? So, how's your Friday going? Playing a new toilet bowl water? Bring me back to the days of being in the jail, washing my clothes in the toilet. Welcome to After for the Show Meets This Old House. Welcome to. A hope to tutorial video. Not a how to, but a hope to. Folks, I want to show you what we got going on in here. Allow me to introduce you to this, what once was a bathroom. Uh, there was some chair rail around here that we've already removed. Door frame is completely torn out of here. And we've plastered all the mistakes that we've made while tearing this out. And the game plan is to get a new vanity in this bathroom. Now, one thing that I never wanted this job to turn into was just trying to replace a vanity, turning into an entire house renovation, which is kind of what this job is starting to be like. We had to remove the chair railing around here to be able to fit the new vanity in here. You can see that there's tile missing from where the old vanity was. I've learned that you can either install a vanity on the subfloor or on top of the tile. We're not exactly sure what we're doing at all but also in relation to the new vanity that's getting installed. We've got the new vanity uh, right out here. This is the new vanity that is shorter in length, but also wider than the old vanity. We've already brought it in there to, to get some dimensions to see what it's looking like. We've got the granite top right there. But the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're either gonna have to replace all of the tile that is in that little gap right there, or at least replace some of the tile because the vanity only comes to about right here. So we're gonna at least have to have that much tile in here if we don't go ahead and just replace all of this tile. We're also gonna have to remove all of this trim right here because the new vanity comes to about right chill. And this toilet now is gonna have to be replaced as well because we've got a piece of tile underneath the toilet, we're gonna have to take that out and also possibly just remove all of the trim in this bathroom and redo it. The game plan with this is, is if this goes correctly, this will look amazing. If it doesn't, well, maybe you'll learn from some of the mistakes that we're gonna make here, and I hope that we're not gonna make many. The first thing that we're gonna do is try to figure out how to get this toilet removed. I really don't know a lot about that. I know we're gonna have to cut the water off to this thing, drain the water out, take those screws off, unconnect the water, and then hopefully just get this thing out. Then we're gonna to begin to cut this tile out because one, two, three, four, five pieces of tile definitely have to be cut out at least. And we've got enough tile replacement that we found inside the back shed here uh, that's gonna help us to be able to retile this little area. We've also got this super cheap multi-tool. Uh, these things range anywhere from between 30 to $300. I got the cheapest one. I'm not sure this is going to get the job done in terms of cutting out this old tile, but we're going to see how that goes when we get there. I think the first thing that we're going to do right now is try to focus on getting this toilet removed. And also, you're probably wondering why I have this around my, my face right now and around my neck. It's because there's going to be a lot of dust that's involved in this project. They say that a face mask is a good thing to have in this case. That's the one thing that we forgot to get. So. Cody, you know anything about this? Uh, I do know there's a gasket once you take it off. Okay, I see the water. Yeah, I know the gasket. Other than that, I think I've it's pretty, that. pretty straightforward. Okay. We're cutting the water off the first thing. We're gonna make sure that this sucker drains. Let's go ahead and flush this disgusting toilet. We're holding this down, draining out the, the water. Hmm, how do we get the rest of the water out? I thought it was just draining. <laughs> okay, that's, do we gotta like, uh... No, you should drain before. 
Well, maybe when we lift it up. Yeah, so we we'll lower the floor. <laughs> so we still got some water in the bowl right here. The back part of the toilet is empty. How to drain a toilet? How to drain a toilet bowl before removal. Let's see what this video is talking about. How to quickly get the water out. One thing that I've learned from tutorial videos when trying to learn how to do things around the house is, is you always look at the comments section. You rarely got to pay any attention to the video. You can see the likes versus dislikes. Everybody in the comments section is OSHA certified. All right, let's see what they're talking about. And I have another tip of the day for you. Oh, God. And we have toilet right Okay, we know that. And here it is. It's as simple as a bucket of water. We'll just go ahead and grab that and pour it into the bowl and uh, you'll see what happens. Okay, so we'll just go grab the bucket and put a glove in the bowl. And look at what happened. Most of the water actually just emptied out. You're, you're left with a little bit on the bottom, which is much more easier to deal with. You could just stick a towel in there and drain it out. But Stick a uh, towel in there. I know why there's 81 dislikes on this video. Okay, thanks thanks for nothing there, stick man, because you never showed me what happens when you actually remove the toilet. Does the rest of the water go everywhere? How to drain a toilet before removal. Here's a, what looks like a plumber. Great tip for you on how to remove a toilet without the water getting all over. We're going to take a lesson from history. And when I say a lesson from history, you remember the old to toilets that had the tank up top, you pulled the chain, that's what flushed it? Well, if you show us the same... The same thing that we turned off at the source. Yeah, we turned the water off, dude. We're gonna let all the water he's got a bucket back there. I know he's about to show us the same thing. You want to hold the handle down the entire time. Yep, we did now, that. Here's the problem. We're getting ready to pull this toilet, but while we've got all the water out of the tank, there's still water in the bowl. So here's what we're going you to do. You son of a... I've got a bucket of water with me. And just like the old timey... Okay, we just saw that. Pushes a lot of that water out. There's still a lot of water in there. Hold on, man. <laughs> you son of a bitch. We're going to pull this toilet right now, and this water's going to go everywhere. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and prepare for that. We got some rags. But I guess according to both of those YouTube videos, a bucket of water is what we're going to need. Hi, are you getting ready to remove a toilet from your house? Well, we're going to show you a trick using gravity. What we're not going to show you is what happens after. We will though. This is gonna take forever. How much water do you think we need? I mean, a lot. It's already kind of full. All right, well let's just try this little bit of water. If we throw this down the toilet, maybe gravity will take over for the rest. All right, well we just watched the how-to video on how to drain the toilet, so let's see if this works. What? Still water in the bowl. There's not as much, but there is still water in the bowl. Now he said take a take a rag. Do you mean I gotta put my hands in that? Screws are off. Let's make sure we don't lose those. We'll put those over the side for a moment. Now we're gonna disconnect the water. <clears throat> of course, they got this lock tighted on here. <clears throat> You know, I, I, that was making me feel like they never wanted this toilet to be removed right here, Cody. Give me a rag. Okay. Tell you what. Maybe we can remove it from right here. You think that'll not spray water all over us? A little water though. Should be fine. So we couldn't get it off of the toilet. I'm seeing water. There was going to be a little bit of water inside. You know what I feel like this is going to turn into? You know that video on Facebook with the guy underneath the vanity and he's disconnecting the water or trying to fix it? And it's like when you lied on your application. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, we got a decent amount of water coming down here. Okay, water's disconnected. Got a little bit of leakage. 
All right, we got a rag down. All right, it's flowing up now. All right. So the water's disconnected, and the screws are undone. Here's the hope, and this goes good. You know, should I possibly get up in here with this water? Because this water could go everywhere. Uh, I would just use the rags. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that actually absorbs almost all of it. So how's your Friday going? Playing a new toilet bowl water? Brings me back to the days of being in the jail, washing my clothes in the toilet. I can I can feel the game green tingling underneath my my fingernails. This is how we used to wash our uh, our clothes in jail. Find another prison YouTuber who's going to show you this demonstration. We used to also put our little milk cartons in the toilet to keep them cool. Drink them without even washing them. All right, we got most of the water out of the out of the toilet. Now, go ahead and hang our drawers right here to dry because they're nice and clean with the toilet. All right, Cody. How heavy are toilets? Uh, I got a little weight to them. So, we learned a thing or two from the YouTube videos on how to remove a toilet. And now it's time to remove a toilet. Live with your legs, Joe. <laughs> Oh God. I think that's actually a good place for that. I think we, we should just install that right there. Cool. That is disgusting. Nice. Let's clean up behind this toilet real quick. All right. Oh God. <laughs> God, I can't even breathe. All right, that's good enough for right now. It doesn't have to be perfect. But now we can get to the tile that needs to be removed. So now we're gonna get into some fun stuff, folks. And when I say fun, I don't necessarily mean fun. Again, we're gonna have to cut this grout using the multi-tool. Then we're going to have to get up underneath this tile and try to pry this out. Now what we don't want to do is damage any of the other tile. And if we can help it, we don't even want to damage the tile we're removing. I can't even get this cutting blade on here all the way. You can see those are the holes. It's only being held on by two. I've got no idea if this thing is going to fly out. It's being held on by little to nothing. You're gonna need a multi-tool for a lot of things that you're doing around the house. I would not do what I did, which is buy a $30 one off of Amazon. All right, let's see if this bad boy even cranks up. All right. Now folks, again, this is why I'm gonna need this shirt for cutting this grout. I need to find some safety glasses. We are gonna be safe about this. All right. Let's get masked up. And let's see if this even works. We're going to start right here. So, as you can see, this obviously isn't the right blade for this. We have absolutely mauled the blade. Think about it. It's been cutting it though. We've got the wrong blade. This was probably just a wood blade that we used on this. Okay. I think we're going to need to get some saw blades. Alrighty then. Well, I couldn't find a tool. Couldn't find that, so I had to go get a whole nother one. Valuable lesson learned right here, folks. Don't cheap out on the tools. All right, so I had to buy this to be able to get this, which is the which is the uh, the grout cutter. Uh, I do not recommend this piece of piece of junk right here. This is no good. This thing's going. I'm about to put this thing on offer up. Slightly used, ten dollars. Oh, that thing is 
going to kill my hand. <laughs> Well, that's one tile out. Only a couple more to go. It's definitely not a beginner project. And folks, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am a beginner. All right. I am surprised. I didn't put as many holes in the wall as I thought I would taking that off. So you can see, I'm learning from this. Uh, when you're removing trim, you're gonna put holes, was that a, I thought I found a bag of narcotics in the midst of this. When you're doing this for the very first time, you're gonna put holes in the wall, as you can see from what I've done in the past. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, Joe? Yeah, you know something, don't you? I do. I watched a couple of YouTube videos, and now I'm a flooring professional. But we got all the tile that needed to come out, out. Hopefully we have enough tile to run what we need to run. Uh, but next, I need to clean this area up and get this area ready for, ready for what's coming next, and that is laying a tile. So we never got a chance to film doing the tile work. Uh, that was on Friday when we first started this. We started this at about 3.30 on Friday afternoon. I worked on this until nine o'clock that night. Um, here is what's left of the mortar and the trowel. I never even cleaned out the bucket, had to go get new buckets. Kind of glad that we didn't film doing the tile work as well because I'm gonna be honest with you, it didn't come out all that great. I'm getting ready to show you the tile work right now. And I didn't do this trying to be funny. I really tried to do a good job on this. I learned a lot of lessons. So when you see this, uh, just bear in mind, this was my first time doing this and it was definitely a learning experience. Uh, so you can see we've got the tile installed. Maybe from a distance it might look like it's okay. I actually had to cut out the sheetrock. I, I banged that out with a hammer. And that was where the problems began. Because while cutting those 45 degree tiles right there, basically cutting those tiles in half diagonally, I should have cut a little more of the tiles off. You can see I broke that one right there. I should have cut a little more of the tiles off because over here you can see uh, there's a little more cut off. And you can see my tile is all the way up against the sheetrock, which led to issues like this, issues like this. Here's a great example right there. Yeah, uh, this, is, this was not done on purpose. This was done on accident. I did a horrible job on this tile, folks. I only had to replace a couple of the tiles and it didn't come out all that great. And I wasn't happy about this. This actually broke my heart <laughs> uh, that this job didn't come out all that great. And it was actually very ass busting as well. Anyways, can't do nothing about it now because it's already in. So what I'm getting ready to do, wow, what's up with the lighting? Uh, what I'm getting ready to do right now is the grout. And basically the grout's what goes in between the tiles and that's the last step of this. Now with the mistakes that I've made, hopefully with the new vanity in here, you won't really be able to notice those mistakes. Wow, look at that line right there. That is pretty bad. Hopefully that's hidden behind the toilet up underneath some trim. Ain't nothing we can do about it now. But another valuable lesson uh, that I'm getting ready to experiment with and, and share with you all is the grout. We only had to replace a couple of tiles. I got no idea what the actual grout color is here. And I'm getting ready to show you a little more of that. Like, uh, like right here, folks. Look at that. What is that grout color? Now, obviously that's pretty dirty. There's no way you could get an idea of what the grout color is. So I was gonna guess on this and I pretty much did. I just got back from Home Depot. I bought two different kinds of grout. 
I've got this one, oh, and it's pre-mixed as well. I've got this one right here, which is an earth color. That's what that one's called. And then I bought just some basic gray. Now the good news is, is I bought this cleaner. Cleaner and resealer for tile. And it was while I was cleaning up the tile that we got this color right here. You can't really see it all that well, but I'm hoping that that color right there is close enough to that color right there. Kind of looks like it might be, right? This job has already been a lot harder than I thought that it was. I should have known that it was going to be a really tough job to do. And my worst fear now is not only did the tile look like shit, what if the grout doesn't match? Well, we're getting ready to grout this. I watched the YouTube video so I can learn how to grout. I've got my grout trial, trial, whatever you call it. I've got my sponge, a bucket of water, and the pre-mixed grout. So I'm getting ready to grout this using the techniques that I saw from the video. This is the last step before we can start putting the bathroom back together and then putting the vanity in here as well. And I just ask that you guys wish me luck because this project has been nothing short of way above my pay grade. But anyways, we're getting ready to start grouting right now. Mm. So you take a bunch of it just like that. And you just start working it into the seams. Now, again, I know I made some mistakes with this tile. There's no doubt about that. However, even though I did make some mistakes, I learned. And I'm not opposed to, to trying this again. And hopefully, getting it right. All right, so we're just working this grout into these gaps. I'll tell you what, getting this pre-mixed grout definitely was helpful. And again, I just hope that this matches. Now I think from watching the video, if I can remember correctly, they said, don't do too much at once. I've probably already done too much. I'm going to do this section right here and then I'm going to wipe it away. My gaps are not at all correct. These were supposed to be 3 16th uh, gaps between the, the grout and some of them might have been 3 16th. Some of them probably definitely weren't. All right, working some more grout into here. Now, even though I did a horrible job on this tile, I get it. I did a horrible job. Joe, what the heck? Should have got somebody else to do this. You suck at this. You're right. But I can't emphasize enough that I did learn some lessons. And damn it, if I ever do this again, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to share with you guys in a minute, once I get this done, some of the lessons that I learned from this project. And maybe, even if this isn't the best job, well, maybe this will help you to, to ensure that if you do something like this, your job does come out better than mine. All right, the grout seems to be completed. Now, it's the cleanup. Now, I bought a lot of grout. And I realized that I did not need that much. They sell it in quarts, and I think gallons, a quart, would have been all I needed. All right, right now, I got my sponge. You rinse that out with water. Make sure that you get most of the water out. And then one hit, oh, that might have been too much water, Joe. All right. Okay. Thinking that was too much water. I need a, a rag. Oh God. All right. Let's dry that up. Okay. All right. They say you need your sponge to be really rinsed out. I just saw that first hand right there. All right. Let's hit it again.
The tile has now been grouted. And looking at it, I think we did a pretty good job of matching up the color. And to be honest with you, even though I made some mistakes, uh, hopefully all of these mistakes will be hidden behind the vanity. I think the grout really helped to make it look a lot better. I'm sweating pretty bad from this little little job right here. This didn't even take that long, but it's hot inside of that bathroom. I don't even think there's a vent in there. I learned a couple of things thus far with this project I want to share with you guys. Uh, you got to put backer board down whenever you're doing your tile work. I did that in there. They sell a sheet though. It's some orange sheet. It literally rolls out. I should have used that. I should have used the thinnest backer that I could have for the tile because the backer board plus how much mortar I was putting down definitely made it hard to get those tiles in there evenly. And I'm gonna be honest with you, a couple of them aren't even even in there. But I learned that for sure. Hopefully the mistakes that I've made could be covered up with the vanity. We've gotta wait 24 hours for that to dry. And what my hope is, is even though people are probably saying right now, ah, Joe, you suck at this, you should have had somebody else do this, you're probably right. But what I hope is, is by the time it's all said and done, this bathroom looks brand new. 